Hey everyone, uh, Dan here, and I was uh, I was just working on some optimization stuff uh, for some clients, and uh, thought I'd take a second to, to show you some really cool tips and tricks uh, for uh, for optimizing your existing content uh, using uh, some search data uh, coming from a tool uh, called Google Search Console. Now, Google Search Console requires that you've got it set up and connected with your blog, so there's tracking. Uh, but one of the things I love about Google Search Console, especially compared to like a Google Analytics, uh, is that this is showing you how your website uh, is performing and behaving on the search engines themselves. So Google Analytics, on the other hand, tells you what happens once they actually come visit your website. You know, so it's a little bit of a difference there. Uh, you know, once they're on their website, that's that's one thing. But uh, I want to take a look at how do we get them on your website in the first place. Uh, so one of the really cool things that you can do here is uh, is that you can figure out some of this data and everything too to leverage existing content that you already have on your website uh, to try to drive more traffic. Uh, so I'm going to take a little bit of a deeper dive uh, and take a look at this with you uh, to show you some of the, the results that I see. Uh, so for example, uh, in your Google Search Console, uh, what we'll do is we'll go under performance to the, uh, to the search results. Uh, from search results, uh, you can filter things by different things, uh, by queries. So it'll tell you which keywords are tracking and driving traffic for you and stuff too. But I want to jump over to pages because when I'm on pages, I want to see uh, which which pages on my website are getting the traction. You can see uh, there's a few of them here, and this is ranked by the number of clicks. So this is uh, ranked by the traffic that's actually coming to my website right now. Uh, you know, based on searches done on Google for keywords, any key keywords, uh, but they're landing on uh, each of these pages. It's a landing page. And you can see right here is my home page. I actually have two two blog posts that are actually more popular uh, than even my home page of my website. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to click on one of these because I want to take a take a dive because I want to show you how to how to use this data to optimize. So I'm going to take a page that's already ranking pretty well. Okay, uh, and then I'm going to click on it. And now I'm looking at just this page and then I'm going to click back over on queries now. Now, when I once I do that, it's filtering these queries and it's given me just the search terms, the keyword terms that are actually being used on search engines to find this blog post. Now, one of the things that's really helpful too as well is it's already showing me total clicks and total impressions. But I want to click on click through rate and average position because this is some really good data as well here too. And then when I come back down, I'm looking at these queries. Now I've got a couple columns here that show me the click-through rate and position. I have some that I'm actually ranking number one and 1.4 on average, so one or position one or two. Um, but I'm going to sort this by impressions because I want to see which terms are actually getting used most that's getting people to land on my pages. Now, obviously, this is a, a post about uh, a, a Linktree alternative type page. So just the terms Linktree and Linktree with a space in between uh, are getting the most searches. Those are typically more branded type terms of people looking for Linktree service itself. So I'm not going to focus on those uh, because those aren't really my target market and stuff, right? Uh, but if I look down here, you'll see that I have terms like Linktree examples is getting uh, over 3,000 searches and I'm ranking 9.4. So I'm on the first page, but averaging about the bottom of the first page. How to make a Linktree is 2,500 searches. Same place, uh, position 910 area. What is Linktree? Getting 1,600 searches per, you know, on average here. Um, and and that's, I'm at the end of page two. So that's actually virtually invisible stuff. So the way I like to use this data is uh, even if I'm at the, you know, on page one, but at the bottom of the page, uh, the percentage of traffic I'm getting, you see my click-through rate for this one is 1.2%, which is pretty normal for somebody ranking about number nine or 10 in search results and stuff too. My goal is, is the higher I can get it ranked, the greater percentage of the, these impressions uh, I can actually get and secure as traffic for myself. Um, if I can get up to position number three, I might get 10%. Position two, I might get more than that. In position three, I might get maybe a third of this total search traffic, which could be a thousand, right? 
um, if I end up ranking number one. Uh, so, so these are actually pretty good low hanging fruit things right here. And what I'll do is you can see as I look through the terms, link tree examples, how to make a link tree, what is a link tree? And some of these are questions that people are asking. So they're going to Google saying, what is a link tree? How do I make a link tree, right? Give me some examples of good link trees. Uh, these are the things that they're searching for that my post can answer. So this is stuff that if I were to take these things, these questions in particular, and go back to my blog post uh, and then try to optimize my blog post from, uh, from there, uh, I can see, see some improvements, right? Uh, is, uh, if I build stronger content that answers those specific questions. Um, and, and if I build stronger content that answers those specific questions, uh, then I should be able to see my rankings rise uh, for, for those terms on the search results. And then in turn, I should be able to see more traffic. But that's a way I can take an existing blog post, uh, find out exactly what I need to do to optimize that. I could take this data. Now I have actionable things that I can go back to my blog post, uh, run some optimizations on that blog post uh, and see some nice increases in traffic. Uh, so that's it. That's the, that, that's the big tip that I have for you guys uh, today. Uh, if you like that, smash that like button for me. Uh, please feel free to subscribe. That would be fantastic. Uh, and hit me up with a comment. Uh, let me know what you think about this, if this is something you uh, think you want to try to do, or if you have tried it, uh, seen any success with it too, or uh, you know, comment if you have any questions. Uh, happy to answer those in the comments or uh, uh, maybe follow up uh, if it's a, a different topic uh, later on too. Uh, with that, boom, I just want to wish you a an awesome day. Thank you for watching.